Hello, hello, people. Uh, we are here today to have a look at some Christmas gifts that I'm giving away. Uh, you already seen the video, I hope, uh, with the other envelope journal that I made. Uh, I made two more to give away. I actually have three more on the way, but I'm going to film these before I package them and because these are Christmas gifts. Uh, this one I can easily show you because I know he doesn't watch my videos. This one, however, I'm going to put it aside for now. And do that in a separate video because I know that they sometimes watch my videos. This guy doesn't. <clears throat> so let's have a little look, shall we? Hope you guys are doing okay. And let me just have a little sip of coffee. I'm kind of. It's um. What time is it? Ouch, my neck. Oh, it's already twenty past one. Midday. Uh, and I'm pretty much on my second cup of coffee. I was up until five this morning, so yeah, I'm kind of late today to get started. So I made a few changes to this compared to the first one I did. Uh, this is very personalized. Uh, I was thinking of the person that I made it for. Um, so with the dangles here, I made, I put a moose because he's a hunter. Uh, he's moose. The moose hunting is like the thing every year like yay moose hunting fill up the fridge and stuff put a little acorn for nature and a little ah, come on flip around flip around come on show yourself show yourself this cute super cute little mushroom or, or yeah super cute and a little leaf and handmade beads same as oh I'm out of focus here we go handmade beads just like i had on the other one so i kind of made try to make this as oh where are we i'm sorry i'm going off camera i'm a bit rusty i haven't filmed in a while and uh, here for the closure oh got stuck here we have uh homemade <laughs> well i'm off again homemade little dingly dangly there and handmade beads again uh, a little stylized leaf tree kind of thing i'm off again i'm too far this way okay i don't need to reach that far okay not it uh, a little french lily and a little squirrel actually this squirrel looks a lot like a mouse because the tail isn't that fluffy but it's supposed to be a squirrel but you know it can be a mouse too uh, <clears throat> and i for bra uh, um, braided ribbons and actually the ribbons on this one the closure on this one is a lot better than the closure on the other ones so handmade with love and i wrote my own name there so let's get started so in the first one i have again a little uh, household tip uh, to chew on cumin after every meal helps for digestion and i put some photos in here with because this is for arroz owner so i what i did is i took a lot of the photos i had of arro and sent them out to be printed because my i could print them at home but my printer makes lines so yeah for some reason i, ca I can't i changed the settings so many times and just can't get it so here again uh, another one with the unibury rice not rice uh what's those what's the english word uh, branches like the 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 needles and here again some more photos of Aro of course and Roca my my poor girl and Aro and Roca and um, a little bookmark some handmade flowers I'm shading myself this is not good let let's tilt you up a little bit and move you this way maybe I don't shade myself. I feel like I'm doing a shadow with the phone. Maybe that's better. Let's hope for that. Okay, let's try this. And here again, here's an old map. Uh, put some lace on and some stickles. I don't know if you can tell that it's some stickles on this. Can't really tell. Okay. Um, and here's some stickles again. I will flip it over and it is holding. This is from Eden Holder, and I put some glitter on it. I don't know if you can tell. No, you can't really tell the glitter, can you? Uh, 
what am I going to do to make it? Anyway, I put a little bit of glitter on there. Not a whole lot. And again, Force of Arrow. That one's a cute one, right? Yeah. Arrow is still alive, by the way. Uh, he's getting a bit more tired, but he doesn't hurt. He sleeps a bit more. He's still very, he has a great appetite. He still want to play from uh, when they're outside. So, uh, and here's a pocket. And I try to, with every one I do, I try to get like a theme that goes through it all. So with this one, it's that stamp. So I tried to put that stamp kind of everywhere and I also tried to, I was thinking of doing these flowers, but I kind of, no, I changed it up too. So this stamp is kind of, and I left room for writing. And here he is again, me handsome. Yeah. Um, and this, this brown uh, is actually a piece of an old blouse I found. So I have quite a lot of those. Um, another and i actually been sewing this but my sewing machine is seriously need a good clean and a good oil because it's not a very happy sewing machine and i put some glitter on here this one is glued on and here i i only sewed on the lace to the paper um and then glued it on and glued on the 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 What's the, um, I'm losing English word. I haven't been filming and I lose my English. Uh, the vine. The vine. Yes, the vine. Come on. There we go. So uh, I made it deliberate so you kind of hide him. So he has to pull out the, the photos to see, see his dog. And here are some more. This is so funny. When he likes to dig down, you can only see his butt. And then he digs out down even more. You can only see the tail. <laughs> I think that's too funny. So anyway, and here I put some lace on. And here I actually found some craft paper that I felt matched. And yeah, here you can see the stipples, actually. And again, the stamps. Uh, and here's another like household remedy. That stamp and this stamp. So. Uh, and here is another piece of craft paper and I put some stickles here oh you can see the stickles actually and this is a quote from a little like poem from Edith Holden now I find Edith Holden books in Swedish translated so um, all of my Edith Holden is I actually have one in English but the rest of them are translated to Swedish so that's kind of fun uh, and another interesting thing is that it's actually a few typos in it. So here he is again, Mr. Handsome. And I again, Edith Holden, and I put some, the stamp and I put stickles on the flowers and the other stamp. And I actually have two photos in this one. So this is when he's shedding. You can kind of see how his fur is looking. So yeah. So there's two photos there and I don't want to put them face to face because sometimes they stick together. So I keep them this way. Uh, and I kind of rounded the corner. I don't have a corner punch, so I've been cutting with scissors. So it's not very even or anything, but I think it kind of helps with the handmade look. And here are some more household remedies. He can put them in or throw them away if he wants to. And I made this paper clip with a little dangle dingle thingy. And again, the stamp. Household remedy against headache. So you take one teaspoon of ground uh, ginger. It's it's the dry form, the dry ground ginger. And one teaspoon of dried or fresh rosemary. And one teaspoon honey, two and a half deciliter of water. That's about one cup of water. So first you boil the water with the ginger and let it simmer for about three to five minutes. You mix in the rosemary, you do a quick, uh, like let it boil again, like real quick. And then you put it aside and let it sit for a while until it cool down um, enough for you to drink. And then you put in the honey and mix it up with it. Because if the honey is heated up too much, you're going to take away all the good stuff in the honey. So it can't be heated with like 
super hot water. Um, oh, did I put these in too soon? Yeah, I think I did. I might have. Yeah, I glued it in. Oh, bugger. Um, I was I was too rushed. Let's see if I can get this off. Uh, I had them the other way around first in case I put them in too soon, but yeah, I flipped it over too soon. But I think I can fix this. Yeah, okay, that's oh, <laughs> that's better. So I put two photos here. Again, the stamp, and I made this to kind of match, so it kind of blends in. But then I put the ink on the side here to make it stand out a bit more, and I found this lace and put that on. Okay, flipping over, and here's a pocket, because this paper is kind of big, so I just folded it over. So on the other side, it's also a pocket, but I did it slightly differently. And here I put in like a bunch of photos, and I have the stamp. I inked the pocket and slightly over there, but I inked the pocket more because I wanted it to stand out more. Um, so here we have some more photos. So this is like show and tell. He's playing with his toy. Yeah, he's playing, he's pulling. And uh, rock, my Rocca and Aro. So yeah, this is Aro's, for Aro's owner's Christmas present. And here we have again Edith Holden. And it says mushrooms there. Isn't he handsome? Yeah, he's a handsome boy. And here I had a photo that I didn't want to cut down anymore, but it didn't also fit in any pocket. And I found this paper clip. In, in like dog dog bone not dog well kind of yeah again a stamp and that same stamp there and a little fairy and I thought her colors fitted really well in here and some stickles in the corner again that stamp and another the other stamp and here I have quite a lot you see I did this pocket slightly different I folded it down and left it open to the side because some of these photos are quite wide, so they are exactly the same. So if I had glued down this side, they wouldn't fit. I guess I could have cut down some of them a little bit more, but I didn't want to. That's a big reason I didn't want to. I'm going to put this one back here. In the playing. I miss my girl so much. But it's so easy now that I don't have a dog. I'm actually going to go pick up Aro today. Because his owner is real sick. He has a cold. It's not COVID. It's just a regular cold. He's been tested. <clears throat> but he has fever and stuff. And um, he, he will heal better. Every time he takes out for a walk, he gets another fever spike. So I was thinking of inking the, the edges here. But then again, it kind of blends nicely. And at the same time, it sticks out. So I didn't want to ink it. So I, just, I didn't. I didn't. So some are, some are inked and some are not. And just... Um, here he is again. Uh, and I mean, he can change this up. He can change the photos. He can take away photos. He can add photos. He can uh, add other things in here. Um, so I'm actually thinking of putting in some. This is kind of funny. Here is Huabroca, my cat Fire, and Arro. And he, this is where he sniffs on the water. And here he is on the water. <laughs> yeah. That, I thought that was kind of a funny combo, so that's going in there. Oops, I put this the wrong way. There we go. No, it's that way. Yeah, it's that way. Okay, there we go. Um, and again, and then the household remedy and the stamp. It's the other. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of mixing between... I have them here, two, the two stamps. And I have them on each side of the stamping block, so it's kind of just take turns. And uh, this is the one that I made the previous pocket from. Here he is dig down under my black black currant bush, and he's stretching. So there we go. Oh, that one's the wrong way around. Let me. There we go. I have to put them in the right way around. <laughs> in here, I made a little notepad. I put it in again. Now this stamp kind of failed because I stamped in here without putting anything under. Don't do that. If you're going to stamp in, when you put the, pa the pages in, you need to put something under so you can get a, like a stable surface. Because it gets kind of bulky and bumpy. <clears throat> Here's a poem from taken from the Edith Holden. Now I've kept flipping 
between the glues that I'm using because uh, I'm trying to use up. I'm not really happy with any of the glues that I have currently. Ordered some new. I'm going to go pick them up today. Uh, and I don't know if I can make it show, but this glue, when you get it on the paper, it's really hard to wipe off. When I use the wood glue, I can wipe it off and when it dries, you can't see it. But with this one, even if I wipe it off as best as I could, it still leaves a little bit of shine and it's really sticky. It's hard to get off. Not a big fan. Uh, anyway, so that's a little spring poem from, from uh, and here's uh, also Edith, Edith Holden and the stamp again. And here's another household remedy and the stamp. And again, I forgot to put something underneath. So the stamp isn't perfect, but it's a handmade thing. So, and I put the other stamp over here. And I did not ink this, but I did ink that edge just so that edge would pop a bit more. Here we have Arro sleeping with my cat Fire. And here we have Arro, Rocca, Fire, and Aslan all sleeping together. I thought that was cute. So let's put. Oh. Uh, so for some of them, these pockets, I tried to, uh, let me see if, so I put my fingers under, I don't really make a fold, but I kind of run it just a little, let me show you a little bit better, but kind of do this to make them point out a little bit, because it makes it easy to put stuff in. <coughs> Here we have three household remedies, and I didn't want to ink this page. I kind of liked the way this kind of looked. So I didn't ink it, didn't ink any of it. Uh, I put some stamps here and I glued on a little rose there. And here again, I glued on a rose. Now I messed up the edge on this paper. So I took a piece of, I had a piece of old gift paper and I just had a slight piece. So I cut it off and I glued it in, folded it over and glued it in. Um, and then I put some household remedy. I put in a flower that I cut out from that gift paper. And again, same here, but that made this pocket really narrow. So I made a bookmark uh, here and uh, it's also Edith Holden. And I'm gonna make a separate video on how I make bookmarks like these, uh, how I make them look this vintage and grimy and stuff. And uh, just put some ribbon on there. That's basically what I could fit in this one. And here again, another poem to be cut out from Edith Holden book and uh, the stamp again. And same here, Edith Holden, a uh, little saying, if June is wet, then everything goes right. Something like that kind of. Uh, and here again, we have a little information about Uniberry, and here is when Aro became lame, paralyzed, and you all of a sudden couldn't walk, and how it was slowly getting better. It, I think that's such a cute picture, yeah. Um, and I was debating with myself whether or not to ink the edges on, on here. Let me just fold this up a little bit, so there we go. Uh, whether or not to ink these edges to make them pop more, but no, I decided not to. And this one, I didn't want to put anything because I thought this was so nice. Um, here I put in, I had made this pre previously, it's just a little booklet, very tiny. And I thought it was cute and I wanted to add it. So I was thinking of making like a small pocket for just for this one, but I decided to just plop it in here and let me just... I haven't done the little, and here we have again, uh, when we removed parts of the, when we did the biopsy for the lumps. Oh, this is still when he was paralyzed and he was, we were teaching you how to walk again. And uh, so this one is actually in the wrong, this one should be in the previous pocket. These others are from when we were testing the lumps. There we go. Uh, so I put this little book here and this is about garlic. Already the old Vikings grew garlic in their gardens because they knew it could prevent scurvy and other deficit diseases and was a valuable ingredient in that time's cooking. 
So, um, and also on the, when I did the spine, I put in, when I stitched in the signatures, I put some of these homemade beads on the, on these. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that was, uh, that was the gift Christmas present for my exes, my ex, Arrow's owner. So, uh, I am actually going to go and gift wrap this now. And cause I'm heading over there later to pick up Arrow so he can get well. Uh, he was hoping to work on Christmas cause they get good pay for that. So yeah, that, that was this book and, uh, I'll be back soon with uh, showing you the other one. So yeah, hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys have a great, oh, I may also made these little g g tags for putting on the, the, on the package. So these are just simply made from, I use, I just used, uh, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I, I have such a complete mess here. Well, you know, just the regular playing card, like, like, you know, when you play poker or something, just regular playing card. I used this template. Uh, I glued two book pages together. That's all you need. It doesn't need to be really thick. Because then you use like scrap pieces of paper, just everything you have left from when you've been crafting, just glue it on like a little blodgy. And then you use something that has the same color, like uniform color, kind of like maybe this is uh, from a grocery bag, a paper grocery bag. You can use um, coffee dyed paper. You can just use a plain white paper, something just to have a plain background. Uh, so what I did next, uh, I have, I have some images of Christmas trees, uh, and I just ripped them out, ink the edges. Uh, so these are not quite the same color, but I ink the edges, uh, of the Christmas tree. Uh, first I ink this, this card, uh, glue this on and I put, uh, I have these these little paper doilies and I glue on that in the corner and ink that and then I stamp good jul which is Merry Christmas in Swedish and a little Santa stamped on there and then I put stickles on the tree so it's sparkly and nice so yeah that that's I made these four ones last night five one two three four five I can't count <laughs> I made these five last night uh, real quick because I ran out of tags and again on the back everyone kind of looks the same um, I messed up this stamping though I actually did uh, actually did slightly double stamp so I filled it in with a red pen and it doesn't look that bad so I can still use it um, but anyway since I glue on I have just two paper it's really flimsy like this but when you glue the rest of it on it gets it's like really hard um, but anyway, yeah, so that's how I did the tags. So, um, I'm gonna go gift wrap this and use the tag that I had picked out, that one. And, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Hope you have a great day and not too stressed about Christmas. Remember, Christmas is about loving, caring, and just exist and just enjoy the moment. Don't forget to enjoy the moment, guys. Talk to you soon.